Hello comrades, uh, so in this video I want to discuss uh, Jacobian formula or in other words generaliza generalization of change of variables uh, for double integrals. So what do you want to do? I want to explain the following formula. Uh, if we have the double integral over the region D of my function f of x, y, um, dA, then this integral will be equal to the double integral and what I'm going to do this in this, uh, for this equality sign. For this equality sign, uh, I'm doing the change of variable when I I'm going to write this as x is equal to x in terms of u and v and y is equal to y in terms of u and v. So in other words, what I'm doing, instead of x, I'm going to plug it in some function in terms of u and v instead of, and instead of y. I will have function y in terms of u and v. So then this function f will become the f tilde of u and v, where f tilde uh, of u and v is just equal to my function f of x of u and v and y in terms of u and v. And uh, uh, since I change the region and this domain is defined for variables x and y, then I'm going to have a new domain, uh, let's call it like uh, D prime, yeah, let's call it D prime, uh, in terms of U and V. And here uh, I will have Jacobian uh, times DA. And what is Jacobian in this case? Jacobian is going to be uh, a determinant um, of partial derivatives of my function x and y corresponding to uh, u and v. So in other words, my g is equal to x of partial u, x partial v, y partial u, and y partial v. Or in other words, it equals to x of u, y of v, minus x of v, y of u. So let me highlight my region D, let just I want you to see this region E, and let me highlight uh, my function f of x and f of u and v, and here I have Jacobian. So what is my goal? Uh, my first goal for this video is explain this formula based on a simple example, and then um, uh, my second example is going to be more complicated examples where we're going to do an actual problem. So let's do the simple example. And simple example in this case, um, we're going to use double integral to find the area of a square. So uh, let's take a square, or like in other words, a region D, which is given by um, a square with size, uh, with a length, with a side of length two. So I have two, two. And this is going to be my region D. And then if I want to find uh, the area of this region E, D, I'm going to use a double integral over D of my function Y1, DA. And based on this example, we can easily see there is going to be 4. But let's actually solve this problem by applying our change of uh, variables formula. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something weird. Uh, instead of when we're giving our transformation of our variables, I'm going to make one. And how I'm going to make one? I will make the region D prime, which is going to be a square uh, of um, where the length, the, when the size of the length is going to be equal to one. So my D prime is going to be just square of length one. And how I get the square from original one? I just decrease the square by two. But remember, this square d prime is going to be in terms of u and v. So instead of x axis, I will have u, and instead of v axis, I'm going to have v. So as soon as I have my region d prime, uh, then I have the following question. I want to find my change of, uh, change of uh, variables formula. So I want to find x of u and v. And I want to find y in terms of u and v. And how I'm going to do this? I'm going to analyze 
uh, what formulas for uh, x in terms of u and y in terms of u and v, and sorry, and x in terms of u and v I can use to transform this region into this one. And the first candidate for this is going to be, uh, first I want to write my function u in terms of x and y, because I'm using the domain d and writing uh, the new side, uh, where my inputs are going to be points in x, y plane. And we can see that this side is described by a uh, following set of points, which are uh, y is equal to 2, and x is changes from 0 to 2. And my range side is given by the following points. My y uh, is equal to 1, and my u is changes uh, from 0 to 1. So here I can see that then my, uh, if I want to describe uh, this side of my square, then my u is going to be equal 1 over 2x. And when it's equal to 1 over 2x, you can easily check that this region is going to be equal to this one. And the same we can uh, apply for v. We can check that 1 over 2y will give us uh, the changing uh, this side of a square into this one. So finally, uh, what is my change uh, of variables in terms of uh, u and v is going to be x is equal to 2u and y is equal to 2v. Then what is the idea of change of variables? Change of variables on our simple examples, uh, you can uh, guess that uh, we're not doing something fancy, but usually the idea of change of variables, if we have really complicated function f or really complicated region d, then sometimes we can simplify either our region d or our function in order like to compute the original integral. So here according to our formula, uh, let's first set up my second integral in terms of new variables. And my second integral in terms of new variables is going to be double integral over d prime. My function is constant, so it doesn't change. Uh, here we're going to put my Jacobian and dA. And we can see that if first I'm going to set up this integral without the Jacobian, then the area of this square is going to be equal to 1. So the whole integral is going to be equal to 1, since the meaning of this double integral is the area of the region d prime. That's why we need Jacobian, because if we want to set these two integrals to be equal to each other, we need to some uh, correction factor will, uh, which will make sure that uh, these two answers are going to be the same. So, uh, since we have our change of variables of formulas, let's find the value of our Jacobian. So, according to the formula, Jacobian is going to be just uh, the determinant of the partial uh, derivatives. So in this case I'm going to have x partial u is 2, x partial v is 0. So it's just 2 and 0. A y partial u is 0, y partial v is 2. So I will have 0, 2. So my Jacobian is equal to 4. So since my Jacobian is equal to 4, if I'm going to put this factor 4 into my double integral, then we can easily see that the answers for both integrals are going to be the same. The idea of uh, change of variables, I'm going to show you in the like, next video uh, for my uh, next example, is if we, you are given a double integral where function is really complicated, or region is really complicated, or both, then we can apply change of variables we can either guess the change of variables or we are given the change of variables and then we will be able to compute our old integrals in terms of new variables. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. So in next video, I'm going to do a little bit more complicated example uh, for change of base formula. Thank you for watching.